What's going on guys, it's the Splash Culture and today the Acolyte has just came out with new news regarding its lightsaber battles and I'm going to be covering it here today with you. The Acolyte is set to take viewers to a different corner of the Star Wars galaxy when it premieres on Disney+. Plus. But something about the upcoming series seems very familiar according to one of its cast members. During a recent interview with the Entertainment Weekly, Manny Janito stated that if the fans liked the fight from The Phantom Menace, they'll like what they see in next year's prequel. According to Janto, the fight sequence in the Acolyte will be more physical than the encounters in the recent projects from the franchise. Here's what Janko said regarding what can be expected from the fights in the upcoming show. If you love the sequence with Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan and Darth Maul, I think you're going to enjoy the show. This is incredible because this fight of the Duel of the Fades with Qui-Gon, Obi-Wan, and Darth Maul is one of the best lightsaber battles in the Star Wars canon. This fight was so important for the fate of the galaxy and so on. So for this project, the Acolyte, to be tying in fight scenes like this, I think this will be a huge step in the right direction by being able to bridge the community together and being able to re-spark that love for Star Wars. Furthermore, another difference that the Acolyte will stand out from the rest of the Star Wars television series is that there will be a lack of blasters used in the action sequences of the show. During the interview, Daphne Keen explained how not using pistols made the story feel different. And here's what she quoted, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but I'll say it. There's a lack of guns, which personally, as someone who loves fighting and stunts and stuff, I love because it gives you that body-to-body -body choreography that dancing feeling, it actually looks like a real fight as opposed to I just point and I shoot, which is kind of an easy cop out in a way. We get a lot of that body to body, which is like a dance. I think this is incredible. I think this is able to really focus on lightsabers and the actual force itself. And this is what many of the people in the fandom have lacked and hated within the Andor series. There was no lightsabers, there was no force and so on. But in the Acolyte, this is able to bridge everyone together by being able to focus on the Force, lightsabers, Jedi, and Sith. And this is what really makes Star Wars Star Wars. And I absolutely am full support with this step by Disney and Star Wars. If Star Wars fans can all come and support this project, and the project delivers on all of its promises without enduring some, tw some type of problems that have been going on in recent days i think this story and this show will be huge and incredible and i think disney will successfully bring back the audience and everyone can, is able to support one project again without a divided and unsupporting fan base i think this show really has the potential to bring back everyone into a loving community once more this was the splash culture and have a good day everyone